What it do? You know who it is. We back, baby. It's been over two weeks. I know. I know y'all miss me and everything, but we back on it. Let's get back straight to it. We're going to talk about this Kanika Jenkins case. So today, I'm about to break down some other stuff that I did in my last video. And I'm going to show y'all some new stuff that I just recently found. And we're going to um, also talk about the credibility of these no good ass uh, investigators. But um, we're about to get straight to it. About to rip their ass apart. So first, I'm going to get into this pre-recording I did. Now, bear with me. It's a little shaky. Um, but for the rest of the video, you won't see much of that. Um, so we're going to get into it. Now, this is the reason why we're all here. Now, many of us saw this case and said, well, this doesn't look like that's what happened based off of what y'all showing us. So now we're just going to, um, expose them. Like, you know, let them show us what they can tell us and what we seeing. But it's going to be good, y'all. So just bear with me for this little, little five minutes of the video and then all the rest of it, smooth sailing. Now, if you found her body, why ain't you looking like you're in shock? We got keys, y'all. So, um, because the freezer are locked? <laughs> Accident? Hmm. I don't think so. What is that on the table, guys? What? What is that? That's <laughs> all up in his ball spot. Police is already there. And that's Walsh. Watch this cop. And Walsh. Got a flashlight. What's that saying, y'all? She in the dark. I want to so know why you pulled that um, ice off her body. Or freezing or whatever. Um, wouldn't the light be on? Yeah, if they saying it's, it's an operating freezer. Since it's turned on. Should the light be on, right? person that discovers her body he's not really looking frantic or anything and then you peep how the officer keep going back there jingles his keys and moves on that ain't the first time it ain't gonna be the last well watch that cop come back and tamper with the evidence but I'm gonna wipe my, my lens real fast one second And then this motherfucker, you ain't see him have no gloves on, right? He don't got no gloves. Or something. This is where I believe he pulled the ice off of her. Now he ain't have a box. He had this little um aluminum pan that had like different compartments. So I just want to say. And I'ma zoom in on it for y'all too. See, he has a box or something in his hand. He just used it to wedge the door. It's the same uh, little pan that y'all seen that Tampering was at the end of the door. Evidence. Now where's his superiors? Because he was just by himself again. That ain't it though. Well, was he using that to pry the door open? What is he doing? But he ain't in fact used that one to pry the door open because... But that's not the first time he grabbed something. Like, it didn't what? work. When, he come, when the rest of the officers come back into the room... He's going to come back and get another box. That's why I believe he pulled that ice from off of her. But they didn't get all the ice cubes. See, initially I thought it was a box. Right. Now, did anybody see any gloves? Anybody see any booties, protective gear? Anybody? They shouldn't even be looking at the body. At all. At all. They're just police officers. Well, public safety officials, might I say. That's really what they are. And you see, we can't see where if they're even walking into the freezer. So how can they tell us that she walked in? They walking in the same area. And we can't even see them walk in there. But we can see her. Come on now, stop playing. Them two, I don't trust. The first two that just came in. Oh, there you go. The chunkier one. Watch him. He gonna come. That's the video. Sorry the, about uh, that. 
little back part over there. Look, Sam. Stay with me for a little bit longer. Trust me. Another box. It's going to be worth y'all while. Do some more tampering. But I'm about to zoom Look in on what he grabbed. That shit is where they pull the ice off of her. That's just my opinion, though. Oh. I've seen it this time. Don't look like you're taking pictures, either. Look like they're tampering with evidence. Nobody got no booties on or nothing. I don't even think I see anybody with gloves right here, but I seen them in the hallway with gloves. Oh, they got gloves on. Well, one of them do. It's the video. Bear with me. But I just seen something, yo. Y'all remember that picture that was frozen still and you could see somebody holding her up by the freezer? It's in this video. It's about 29 seconds. Or I mean, um, at 12.29. So if y'all can go back and just like pause play it, you'll see it. Because I seen it as, the, as I recorded it just now. And then the one that's uh, with the blue glove, he directed everything, yo. He directed the reenactment as you saw him in the hallway, stumbling, demonstrating the same thing. Man, I'm starting no to think gloves. he the lieutenant. You see that? No gloves for, for at least four cops that we're looking at right now. But they're all back there, touching, standing over Damn. everything. Damn, video. Opening and touching the door. How are you doing a thorough investigation with no one wearing booties or gloves in a crime scene? Come on. Now He's just putting on his. Come on. Now count how many people y'all seen with gloves so far that don't walk past y'all to go back that way that came from the freezer. And the one that moved the stuff, they give him a great big hug. You see that? That's the one that moved the ice off of her. They touching their hair, everything, face. They doing all that contaminating. Thorough investigation, right? Okay, so that's like Walsh. Tell me what he's saying. Right there. What he's talking about. But um, we can finish up with the rest he's of this. We gotta get to the good stuff what now. He saw in the freezer. So let's get straight to it, y'all. Fuck these niggas. All right, so I know I discussed this in my last presentation, but today I found out something. Now, what I want to do is um, have everyone, like, you know, put the difference in where these freezer temperatures were recorded at. First, the date is the same, and that these are supposed to be matching up with whatever um, temperature uh, things they have, you know, gauges, other gauges that match the same um, recordings. So, first, we're going to go into each part. I'm going to show you what the freezer's temperature is at. Then I'm going to show you what the cooler's temperature is at. Now, this is just the estimated um, degrees I'm giving based off of what I believe I can see on the temperature gauges here. So, let's start with the freezer. Now, it looks to say about 10, maybe. Okay, so that's the freezer's temperature. It's about 10. Not a cooler. I would say that's about 30, maybe. Okay. All right. So, cooler's at 30. Freezer's at 10. Okay. So, they're stating that she was found in R95. So, in order for us to, like, you know, 
uh, come up with the right stuff, we have to match the temperature gauges according to R95. Now, it doesn't show what those temperature gauges I just previously showed you belong to. But if they're showing them, it must go with their investigation, correct? But what I want to say is, okay, now let's pick apart the temperatures right here. So now we're going to get to what they wrote on these, um, on these uh, manuals here. All right. So we got, there's a freezer for R94, which is at 10 degrees. But you just noticed, I told you that the freezer was 10 degrees, right? Okay. But it doesn't match the freezer that she was found in. Because it says R94. Then, you see the cooler's at 44. And that one matches for R95, the freezer R95. But, I just read off 30 degrees. So you can see the errors that they made. Did they fuck up or no? Okay, since we on the body still, let's get into um, how the body reacts to normal temperature and hypothermic temperature. Now, as you can see stated on the right-hand side under the hypothermic temperature uh, demonstration, that the brain can survive for 90 to 120 minutes after death. So, therefore, they were able to uh, remove the um, brain and any other organs that they felt they wanted to get. Now, at the top, it says that they use a cold saline solution in order to clear out the body of whatever, you know, maybe cleaning the blood or whatever that, you know, stuff like that. Um, now, also, we can read right there. It says it, the saline solution flushes oxygen carrying blood from body tissue, shutting down the cellular respiratory chain. So, meaning respiratory is when it comes to your breathing. Okay, so that means that it shuts down everything. So that means that you're gone. You know what I mean? All right, so we're going to get to this next slide. So now that um, I've done like a little bit more, you know, research and digging, I was able to find this slide plus the last one I just showed you. Now this slide pertains to how they can use like fibrillators and things like that in order to play as a um, synthetic body, you know, like where they can use the machines and shit in order for the body to function like there's really a human still there. So, um, this is what this is describing. And then, for those trolls, this is what I want y'all to do. Do that. Do just that, okay? And for this one here, this is something that I've been meaning to get to y'all about. Um, because everyone was stating that only her thymus was missing. But if you look in like the second paragraph, it says the right lung is bilobate. No middle lobe is present. I'll repeat. No middle lobe is present. Now I'm going to show y'all what the middle lobe is responsible for doing. Now, I'm not a medical expert, but um, all this stuff, I did some research, you know. And I found out what I need to talk about in order to sound educated, although I am. But as you can see, this is the um, demographics of where the middle lobe is located. So next, we're going to get into what it does, what's its job. So here's a detailed description. You guys can pause and read. But just to do a little quick little scan, it says bronchial, right? So I have asthma, and that's what's affected in my system. It's my bronchi. And the uh, lobe is a part of the lung, and the lung is a part of your respiratory system. So therefore, it deals with your breathing, right? So how can you have something missing that is needed to help you breathe. And you see what it says it does? It says the bronchioles control the exchange of gases with the alavoy, which are tiny air sacs in the lungs. And also, I want to point this one. I want to zoom in on this one. What it say it help it do? What you get? What's the benefit for you once it's gone? 
Read that last word. Okay. And also the thymus helps help you with that too. But we're going to get into that next. Now, y'all remember that last um, article I put up like this? And it was describing the um, thymus. Now, this is just the second part of it. I didn't have this available at the time. That's why I wasn't able to speak on it. But you can see that it's still referring to the thymus. Because when it starts off, you'll see the word thymic peptide. So, we're still referring to the same uh, body part. Now, I want you guys to look at like the second sentence in that same top paragraph. Further questions are whether the peptides inhibit or reduce the progression and reoccurrence of the disease, whether they prolong the life or cancer patients, and whether the quality of life is improved. So that shows you that when it comes to the thymus, it, be, it can become very beneficial for those who have cancer. Now here's how it's based in clinical clinical trials. So you can see who benefits from it, okay? And now we're going to get on to the part about why it was so important for these organs to be removed. So here's just a nice little, no, similar, you know, little, little something, something. Little semi right here of um, all the organs that are, you know, the main focus right off the bat for any individual, male or female. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty good penny. Um, I don't want to do the math. I mean, I can leave that up to y'all. But um, as you can see, look at the payout. It's worth it. It's worth it. And this is why her organs were removed. And this is why she was put in her freezer for, for them to preserve the organs. Okay, so now we're going to get into, like, um, the credibility of these officers, the investigators that were on the case, the public safety officials. So this right here is the subpoena that they um, had to get in order to uh, secure the uh, tapes. Now, you notice highlighted that they only were supposed to cover for after midnight on the 8th through almost midnight on the 10th. Now, we have footage of them in between those times as well as before those times. I'm grateful for both of them because, I mean, if we wouldn't have got the discovery, there really would have been some problems and uh, red flags raised. And I also seen something about the 7th, a video that was for the 7th. And it just blew my mind because it's been a year and I've never seen that. So, I'm going to try to include that in this video, too. And if not, it'll be on the extended part. But, let's get into these cops. So, this motherfucker right here, this is the one that was in the um kitchen directing everything. He's also the one that uh saw the surveillance first. So, he was the first one in to actually review the surveillance to see where her last location was at. Now, he should have been the first cop to respond to the body. So instead of Walsh, it should have been him down there. But it wasn't. And I want to know why. And I want to know where he really was during this time. So next, I'm going to show you that there's like a little video I was able to get of him actually uh, arriving into the uh, hotel where he went to go review the surveillance. Now, for me to try to find it on the regular um, YouTube, like I normally could, that video has been uh, taken down for some reason. I believe it started at about 11.20 on 9.9. Now, the person whose YouTube channel I found it on, he has the time and everything uh, posted in the video. So I'm just going to take a little clip of it and um, you guys can go check him out as well. And the video is called Stalking the Police. And it's uh, Mr. Jackie Dragon. So share, like, and subscribe over there. But let's get into this video of him coming in. Checking the surveillance. Alright, so he's about to come in. 
and post it at the end of the video. I'll make sure to get the timestamp for you guys. So if you do find it, which I couldn't, then you'll see exactly what time it was. So next is going to um, be like me clearing up some of the stuff from the last video as well as showing you some new discoveries. But I had to drop this in order to keep this up. So let's move on. So I know many of you probably wonder, how did she come up with that these are tour pants? Well, I'm about to show you now. So this picture is very disturbing. Um, remove every child and anybody that doesn't want to see this now. So here we have her laying in a freezer. And as you can see, her pants legs, like they are definitely, I have chunks of them missing. Now, I'm not too smart but uh doesn't look like that would be how her pants are made and then you can see that there on the one that has the shoe and also i want you to notice her feet and this is the picture that i've been looking at for the last year and i want to show you something with the new picture that i found and it's going to give you more detail in to why i believe it's her pants that are hanging on that uh that uh shelf over there so this picture here, this is it right here. Now you notice her feet. And now let's look more into her pants leg. You can clearly see the tears in her pants. Now this one isn't as uh, clear and detailed. But most definitely, those are her pants. And I want to know why we're looking at two different crime scene photos. How does one have more... Um, decomposing of the body than the other if these in fact are of the same body and that they were supposed to be taken at the same time and that's just the corruption that i'll be talking about and that's why i don't believe this girl walked into no freezer so this one is the brick comparison now many said that that was the brick that was in the kitchen that the guy was holding um well if you're saying that this is a brick, but the other one isn't, how so? Because they're the same color. And then, this brick looks way larger than the other one. And also, if this, in fact, is the same brick that he had, then why did he have to go outside and bring another one inside if this one was already in the kitchen? So, we're just going to zoom into the brick. Handheld, y'all. Handheld, you think he would have held that big ass brick in just one hand? No, and it's not shaped the same. But here's for you guys to try to debunk me. Nice try. Alright, so I stand corrected on the um that that was like the in through the uh the pool area and that lady in a white shirt with the black uh, sweats was looking through. I stand corrected because this next person is going to show me also. But the reason why I said it, I'm going to show it to y'all um, in the video. But y'all peep that. Look at the time that just happened. Like a whole 40 minutes, just 48 minutes, just gone for real. But I didn't get her to show y'all why I think it's what it is, what y'all said it was. I stand corrected. I'll stand corrected on my shit. I will. He's, in fact, looking at a TV that's upstairs. The same thing, like the little air time, uh, uh, flights. I got y'all. I'm wrong. I admit it. But at the same time, what was up with that time? But that ain't it. We ain't, we ain't done yet. Hold up. And this is why I found that shit that, look, boo. There we go. What's that? Y'all remember when I said... I got that um picture that was still framed, and I don't know why I caught it. Now I remember. This is why. Because I saw this faulty shit right here. Now they got vacuum cleaners and shit. And that's how I know that this is the past elevator area. Like it leads down there where they came out of their elevator and shit. Remember? See? Now what I was doing was pausing and playing the video. And then I took that picture. So, something's happening down here, as you can see, somewhat. 
I'm trying to zoom in as best as I can, but still let y'all see the time. Because I know a lot of people want to see what time it is so they can go retrace the steps. What's that? What's that? People just come off the cut. I'm just focusing right in this pillar. I don't want to look at nothing else. People don't understand how hard this shit is to hold your hand still for 20 fucking minutes, 30 minutes straight. They think it's easy. And yeah, I know you can use the um, little recorders and stuff. But I ain't, uh, I ain't too aware of that. Plus, if I do that, then that's really leaving more room for uh, y'all to say other stuff. Oh, you edited the tapes and you did this and that. <laughs> So, if I give it to you raw, ain't no fucking speculation to be had. You can see the shit and make, I can make all my errors and all that shit. And leave it right in the tape. Because I'm authentic. I ain't got time for the shenanigans. But yeah, I think I'm done. But you can definitely see that there's something down there at the end of the out. Boop! Just as I'm about to go zoom in on it for y'all. You know what it looks like a little bit? That little bin that that man was pushing that um, he was in the kitchen. And it was a white bin and you saw like something sticking out the top of it. And it was like pointy. I think that's what that was. Man, transporting, transporting. Like I said, this hallway, man, it ain't off limit. And why can't we see what's down in that hallway, particularly like through the hallway, like between the past elevators like this. Like, why can't we see what that is? What's what's in that hallway? I'm sorry, I be zooming in up on y'all, but I like to point out where I'm showing because I got a whole bunch of audiences watching. You know, some people can can see further away and some can't see close up. You know what I'm saying? See, here it goes. See, I'm trying to focus on this pillar, man. Something's happening between that pillar. Because everything's been jumping in and out since it started. And those are definitely housekeepers. Damn, this shit hard to hold. My fucking back is hurting. Trying not to miss anything just in case I didn't get something last time. Shit. But this back hallway, man. Okay, so this was the reason why I was questioning what she was looking through because this is from the pool area and the window there, that's the window I thought she was looking through. So I stand corrected. It wasn't because I'm trying to pinpoint whether or not this pool area got used. And since we don't got no footage, it's going to stick out every time. So I get that everyone feels like, oh, well, you're putting out all these speculations and everything like that. Well, I wasn't there, so I'm only going to give what has been given to me. And then I'm going to use whatever stuff I expose or find. And I'm going to try to clear it up for anyone who's listening as well as myself to figure out what happened. So, I mean, you can feel free to leave a comment like you've been doing. And if you don't like it, so be it. Exit stage left. Viewer discretion is advised. Now, this one I'm going to clear up again. Now, this picture everyone's seen. So, we're going to get into how I found it. And that, in fact, it's what I said it was. And also, this person has a name. I found his name, I believe to be who he is. Uh, you can make your own determination on your own. 
but I have the comparison pictures ready for you. Man had a name. He's missing around the same time. And shout out to whoever found that footage. I mean, that uh, picture of him with his name. And you guys write in the comments on if you think it's him or not. You know what? When you got a little small YouTuber that they ain't paying attention to, he got the tapes. He got the tapes. And it was 1116, not 116. But she carried a one. I was on it. Hold on, let's go back and look at it again. Uh, I just want to drop a piece something about this town real quick. I ain't really, I don't know who that is. But just peep the time real quick and watch it jump to 1, 11, 16. And then we're going to get back to this part about this person. You see that? This man in his bag. And we're going to show y'all that these people, they have lives too. Where's their family at? I don't know. But as you can see, this is what this hotel is responsible for doing. Get her, try to get her face a little bit, but you see she ain't shit. But she left this man right there. She left him right here on the footage. She left him right here for everyone to see. It's the same face, y'all. It's the same man. Oh my God, this. So now that y'all seen that disturbing shit, um, I'm just going to talk about this hallway for a little bit. Then we're going to get into like the new discoveries. But um, I feel like this hallway was very important and this one should have been under surveillance too. Now, the escalator is just behind off this camera or whatever. And then that's the railing that she actually grabbed. Now, if we'd have been able to see this um, actual footage... It would have shown the uh, security guard clear as day trying to peek around that corner, whoever went in that bathroom, and also when she grabbed the railing, what really happened right there. And we would have been able to see them actually drag that body down the steps. But this is why I say that they're covering this shit up. Not really sure why this picture looks so crazy, but um, I just want you guys to focus on what he's holding. Now... Those look like gauze, don't they? 